Hello, this is Bern, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop letting shame hold you back from finding love. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life tv.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, and heart centered women how you can attract the kind of man that you want and create the relationship that you've been craving as a result of stepping into the most alive and feminine version of you. No need for playing games or manipulation or gimmicks of any kind. Um, today's video is a little different. I don't have a five-step process to, to share with you how to stop letting shame prevent you from finding love. I'm gonna share it like it is. Every day this week, I've had at least one conversation with a woman who is ready to put herself out there to find the kind of love she craves but for some reason has felt a tingling sensation of I'm not ready yet or shame if you want to call it something more specific that's preventing her from shining her light into the world and with a man. Now I'm a firm believer that if you just went through an addictive relationship for example or if you have been doing it in a way attempting to find love in a way that's not getting you the result that you want you should definitely take some time out and figure out what's missing, change it, and then put yourself out there again instead of just going back and forth. However, if you are someone who has been working on herself and the thought process behind your I'm holding back from putting myself out there is I'm not perfect enough yet. That's really what it is. For example, I there's 10 more pounds I need to lose or uh, my credit score needs to increase 50 points <laughs> or uh, I need to pay off my debt for example or my career needs to be in a slightly stronger space before I put myself out there then what I say to you right now is that you're wasting valuable time and here's why because the fundamental reason why a conscious man will want to connect with you is different from the reason that you want to connect with him in the end both of you want love but the essence of what you bring to the table is different from the essence of what he brings to the table. Let me clarify for you. Now, it's maybe second nature to you to think that if you're seeking for someone to have a grounding presence and to have an edge, but beyond the edge, have some sense of security and safety and continuity so that you can continue opening your heart again. And what does that safety mean? That you know he's there, that he's he wants to commit, that he wants to move things forward, that he wants a lifelong thing versus a month and a half thing, right? That's the kind of thing that you're looking for. Uh, and part of that sometimes is like for a guy to be financially stable, right? Because more than the cash, that lets you know that he can take care of things. He understands the game of money. He understands how to step up in the world in a way where he can make shit happen. That he's probably looking for the same thing and, and he's not. I'm not saying that he's looking for someone who is in financial distress at the highest level, but he's not looking for that safety and groundedness that you're looking for. He's looking for a feeling of aliveness. He's looking for a vibration of intensity. He's looking for that edge of fire and that edge of light that you bring in a uniquely feminine way, in a way that he can't provide for himself. So as you think about, well, I need to have all this logistical things in place before he deems me worthy or before he feels like I'm not an imposition on him, I want you to stop right now and recognize that he's looking for your light. And if your light is present right now, fuck the fact that there's a few things missing. Step into your light and stop holding it back and allow him to feel that, fuel his heart with it, and then step up in a courageous and present way to pursue you the way you deserve to be pursued. So my short message for you is this. He's looking for something different than you're looking for. He's primarily looking for a sense of aliveness and excitement and passion and light. And if you have that right now, don't wait for anything else to be in place before you start putting yourself out there because you will continue getting better just like he'll continue getting better. I'm not saying don't work on your business, don't work on your credit score, don't work on something else that needs to change, but that's not a prerequisite to entering a relationship or for a man to fall at your feet and want to kiss them every single day. <laughs> Hope this is helpful to you. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. 
Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the first line of the description of this video, I created a masterclass that's gonna show you how to take these concepts and land them in a more specific and practical way so that you can create the relationship that I'm talking about right now. All you have to do is click on the first link, enter your name and email, and you'll start watching my free masterclass right away. If you want some additional hand-holding, some customized help, then second link on the description will allow you to apply to work with me. Hope that you continue stepping into your light, that you stop holding back your greatness, and that you live a fulfilling and a conscious life.